Computer, take a memo to Admiral Henson, Navy Headquarters, for FTL transmission. Ma'am, this is Clay on the Dreadnought. We have spent the last week on patrol in this cluster, and up to this point we have seen no evidence of the unidentified shipping you described in your report. Furthermore, I must register Sir, my... we're getting a coded transmission on a secure channel. It's the Harvard. She's under attack. Looks like she's encountered a small indie fleet. Signal the Harvard. We're on our way. Damn! Attention! Enemy shipping! This is Captain Mishima of the Commonwealth vessel Harvard. This is your final warning. Emergency power coming on stream now, sir. Good. Status? Message coming in, sir. This is Quartermaster Macduff of the Independent Vessel Indecent Proposal. You will surrender your vessel to us. Your ship has been commandeered by the Independent Navy. Offer no resistance and no one will be harmed. Go to hell. All hands, now hear this. To prevent this ship falling to the enemy, we are scuttling her. Prepare for emergency evacuation. All hands, evac station. That would be a very dangerous move, Captain Mishima. Are you absolutely sure you wouldn't like to reconsider? What's their position? Ten million kilometers in closing. They're right by the Lagrange point. Two ships moving in to intercept us. Okay, gunner, missile slow mode, target on bogey A, launch on my mark. Mark. Helm, ready with 180 pitch. Now! Fire! Second Indy coming about. Now. Status on the Harvard? The Harvard and the Indies have gone. I think they've taken her. The Admiralty's not going to be happy about this. Worsening conditions in Bangladesh are proving too much for government aid operatives as the oceanic rise continues. As Governor Ledbetter was making the announcement, All right. the power outage is in the enough. downtown area. Commander Briscoe, wouldn't you say that the latest loss of a Navy ship to the pirates I represents said. extreme incompetence on behalf of the Navy? Oh. <clears throat> Where is she? Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize for Admiral Hansen's absence. She got caught in a power outage coming down from the orbital, and of course the storm made... Does anyone else here find it surprising that a woman with more than 3,000 spaceships at her disposal should find it so difficult getting to a meeting on time? <laughs> I'll get right to it. These figures are not pleasant reading. Successful piracy attacks are going through the roof. We've lost ten shipments of neutronium headed for Earth this week alone. We've also lost four Navy vessels in the last month. One destroyed and three captured by the Indies. Frankly, our current attempts to contain the situation are failing. Thank you, Admiral Brett. Any responses? In the press get to hear of this, with all respect. To hell with the press, John. Just in A zone, we have four billion to feed. We need those shipments. If we can only trim the military budget. What? And have the Indies walk all over us some more? We're not dealing with some band of gun-happy pirates. We've been fighting a guerrilla war out there for the, the last 50 years. If we need to do anything, we need to strengthen the fleet. I am adjourning this meeting. I think we all need to look at this data a little more closely. Meeting adjourned. Oh.
Admiral Brett? Yes, Mr. Mr. President? I'd like a word. was ready to blow the ship, but when he looked up and saw that cannon, he realized he was looking death itself right in the eye, and he had a sudden change of heart. <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look at her. Aye, she's going to be a very useful ship, and she'll be ready in time for the assault. As long as our mysterious friends keep their part of the bargain and deliver the spider. Oh, she's beautiful, isn't she? And so much nicer for a spot of color. <laughs> <laughs> 